this is a very old 26 inch bicycle wheel. I actually inherited it from my dad. He liked to do experiments with it. What I'm gonna to try to do is see if we can remove that uh, axle shaft with the bearings and replace it with a fixed axle and see if we can motorize this thing. This is just a piece of uh, eighth inch pipe screwed onto uh, one side of this axle shaft. So that's easy to take off. What I gotta do is take all these bearing retaining nuts from each side and get that axle shaft out. After some experimentation, I ended up using a piece of 18 inch, 3 8 inch threaded rod for this particular uh, device. I'm not going to show you all my mistakes. This is just a short clip showing you how having that axle chucked up into the drill can be a little hazardous to your wrist. Oh boy. If you do this, be careful, you can twist your wrist. Okay, let's look at what we ended up with, with this apparatus. This is a 3 8 inch by 18 inch threaded rod. Down here, we've got a 3 8 inch fender washer. It's needed a something large diameter, it's an inch and a half. Uh, we've got a lock washer in there, a little hard to see, and a regular 3 8 inch nut. This is identical on both sides, so we can tighten this up against the uh, wheel from both sides. We've got a fender washer here, quarter inch by six inch piece of uh, brass pipe with some grease in it as a handle, a three eighths inch um, washer here, a three eighths inch lock nut, and a little super glue to help hold it on there. Now this nut right here is uh, leaving loose. It'll be tightened on there when I go to spin it up i got a socket here, 9 16 hex socket, or a six-point socket. It'll fit that, and then see when it's on there, I can just pull it off whenever I want. If I mess up and slow this, the drill down, um, it would really tear it on the wrist. You know, it can be somewhat dangerous. So in this setup, the nut just unthreads itself, and it freewheels, and it's a lot safer. So we're going to try this tomorrow out in the daylight. It's getting dark here now in the shop, so we'll see how it does with uh, in actual uh, use. Okay, we've got this uh, all together. We're ready to give it a try. And uh, But just please keep in mind when you're doing these experiments, if you're using a bicycle wheel, it's got open spokes. You could get your fingers in there. If you're doing it in your house, this thing could get away from you and tear things up. So just please use uh, some... Uh, precautions be careful and uh, we're going to spin this thing up here in just a second and uh, show you how it works okay we've got our nut on here that can uh, help keep us from breaking our wrist when we slow the drill down we're going to spin this thing up Nut just comes loose, free wheels, and you can do your gyroscope experiments. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click on the uh, round anisotropic plus button to subscribe. Click check out our other links to our other gyroscope videos. We'd appreciate it. And uh, thank you for watching.